Hey guys. Ooh, it is Sunday. No. <laughs> it's Wednesday, May 25th. Yep, May 25th. And it's like almost 6.45 p.m. Oh, excuse me. And I'm just now picking up the camera. So, are you ready to get into it? I know I am. Let's discuss. Just hanging out with Okay, guys, how is everybody doing? I hope this finds you happy, healthy, and blessed. All is well with you and yours. I am good. I'm tired. Um, just a lot going on and I think I'm kind of feeling like most of the world right now I've cried a few times um, um, as it pertains to the mass shoot mass incident because I'm learning there's certain words I should not use on YouTube which I'm trying to learn that you guys but the mass executions that took place um, at the elementary school in Texas on yesterday and then prior to that there was a shooting oh, an incident where people ended up passing away um, in Buffalo New York and that was considered you know a HATE crime um, and then prior to uh, and wait and then at, even in between yesterday and the Buffalo um, there was an incident at a church or school in California. And then there was another school incident, if I'm not mistaken. Like, there's so many incidents that I can't keep track anymore that have happened kind of back to back to back to back. And it's heartbreaking. It is so heartbreaking. Like, this morning, you know, I was just, uh, I was a mess. You know, just the thought, I can't even imagine. You know, I went through really a tragic loss in losing my grandson. Um, you know, it was totally unexpected. Um, he was born early and his lungs weren't developed enough for him to make it. And when I tell you it crushed my family, it crushed me, my daughter, my grandson's father, my son. <clears throat> we were crushed. We were devastated. Like, we literally went from planning a gender reveal to planning his memorial service. And it just didn't seem real. Like, I literally was in a fog for months after that. I'm sorry for the lighting, guys. We're on our way to Bible study. Um, for months, I was in a fog. Like, I could not process. I struggled with the processing of it. And then, you know, people don't know what to say to you because they don't understand or they, you know, they've not experienced such a loss and it's such a horrible loss. It's like, what do you say? And so thinking about the parents who, you know, have their babies you know, for 10, 11 years, um, and, you know, take, you took them to school or they sent them off on the bus or whatever, thinking you were going to see them that night or that evening when you got home, or even some of them, there was an honor roll assembly that had happened earlier that day. They were, you know, giving out, uh, awards. They were preparing for the end of the school year. And, you know, you were there and you got to see your child receive an award. And then that's the last time got to see them, hold them, touch them, kiss them, you know, with life still in their body. And then you have to wake up this morning. Usually your routine is getting them up, getting them ready for school. You're getting ready for work. But this morning, that's not the case. And it's like, what do I do? Like, like, how do I even continue on like this? Like, It's almost like 
a person who really cares about what happens in the world and really has a heart and feelings and 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 can empathize with loss a, 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 a huge loss a very hurtful loss you haven't had time to heal in between the losses you know the buffalo incident haven't had time to really process that and heal from that and then here we are oh well interesting guys i'm sorry you know i get distracted this car next to me is from my hometown in topeka should would it be rude for me or weird for me to roll down the window and be like hey i'm from topeka too if he looks over here before the light changes i think i'm gonna do that but he's focused <laughs> He's not looking around at all. <laughs> oh, man. Interesting. I think I needed that little moment because I was getting ready to break. I was getting ready to break. Thank you, God. You always know what, what I need when I need it. But, yeah, guys, so much prayer needs to be happening right now. So much prayer. And then, you know, one side is accusing the other side of making this a political moment while the other side is accusing the other side of not caring and not trying to pass appropriate laws that will help prevent some of this. It's just a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. And I just don't understand what is the problem in making someone legally purchase a weapon and what is the problem in uh, passing a law that if you are basically, you know, a homegrown terrorist, basically um you will suffer consequences if you go off and do something like like what's happening it's just crazy guys it is so crazy and i've just been trying to process and trying to cope and just trying to continue on without being you know, just completely stressed out. So, yeah, been dealing with that and just, you know, looking at the news and it's just like, oh. And then, you know, it's it's primaries for a lot of states and we had ours yesterday and I did go vote. And um, it's just a lot. Um, one interesting fact is that the two people that the former president was pushing for in Georgia, because Georgia is a hot state because of what happened during the presidential election. But the former president's uh, folks that he was supporting, neither one of them won. So now there's some conversation about, does he really still have the juice? I know that's old. I know, I know, I know. Does he really still have the power or whatever? So it's gonna be interesting to see. Um, it's gonna be an interesting um, election period for Georgia because Herschel Walker and Pastor Warnoff, I hope I'm saying his name right, will be running against each other. So they'd be interesting to see that um, here in the state of Arkansas where I live, whoever wins the governor's race is going to be an interesting race because it'll either be the first female governor which is uh, the candidate is Sarah Huckabee Sanders. She used to be the former president's press secretary and she, her dad was also the governor here at one point. Or Chris Jones, who will be the first African-American governor. So either way it goes, history is gonna be made. It's just gonna be you know, interesting to see how that goes. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on in the news. Um, so much other things have happened. Um, that, you know, I could talk about or get into, but I'm not going to do that right at this moment. Oh, oh I got my heart. Oh, excuse me. I got my heart monitor and I kind of think I'm allergic to it because I just feel like I've broke out in a little bit of a rash. Well, I don't know if it's the heart monitor. Let me be honest. The same day I got the heart monitor, I had to start using allergy eye drops because my allergies got so bad that this eye um, whenever I put my contacts in I think I told you guys this it just was like beet red looked like either I had pink eye or somebody dotted me in my eye or I've been crying uncontrollably but it was only the one eye 
So I went to the eye doctor when I went to go pick up the new glasses. I don't know if I told y'all this already. If I did, I apologize. I'm getting older, okay? And I, I'm dealing with a lot these days. But they gave me some allergies. So I started, or allergy drops. So I started using the allergy drop, drops the same time, the same day I got the monitor. So I don't know if it's the monitor that drops. I don't know. But but something's got me breaking out because on the side of my face, um, here under my eye, on my arm and my leg. So I don't know, guys. I don't know. But anyway... I am so tired. I don't think I've recovered from going to um, Memphis over the weekend, which was really, really a good time. Um, I don't know if I told you guys why I went there or not, but I really, really am glad that I went. It's just that I'm getting older and I don't bounce back like I used to. And plus, I just got off the road from being in Kansas. I had just got back a few days before I went to Memphis. So, yeah. Well, guys, I am going to close, not close, I'm going to go ahead and log off so that I can get into Bible study. It starts at 7. And, um, yeah, I'll be back. And hopefully my attitude will be a little more judged up and I won't be so down. But, I mean, how can you not, how can you be a human and not feel some type of way about these mass killings that's taken place, you know, over the month. It hasn't even been uh, over a month, like the past 30 days, you know. It's just crazy. And then, of course, they're talking about the ban on abortion. I don't know if we've talked about that already, but it's just crazy to me that the government can tell you as a woman what to do about your body regardless of what your belief is I, it's just it's crazy because I don't believe in a lot of things but if I have the power to say yes you can or no you you know you can do something that I believe or don't believe would that be fair for me to make somebody do something because this is what I believe. I need to make it a law according to what I believe. I don't know. I get it. I know. I know. I know. I know. But at the same time, God gave us a choice. I, God, God created us to have a choice. To be able, the ability to make a choice. We're the only creatures that he created that he allows to have a choice. If he allows us to have a choice... I don't know. I'm just trying to make it make sense. And before the pro-life people come for me, I'm not saying that I'm against it or for it. All I'm saying is I don't think it's right to have laws govern over women and especially as strict as the laws are. Like, even if you're raped in some cases, you can't get rid of the child. You can't get, you know, you can't get rid of the seed. So you're going to force me to live with this, give birth, live with it, or give it away, but it's still going to be something, another part of what I got to live with. A lot of women don't report being that being done to them. They don't report it out of fear, retaliation, shame, because you're blaming yourself. I mean, there's so many things that go into that. And I mean, I just, it's mind boggling to me that we are so starch on pro-life, but when it comes to laws to keep weapons out of the wrong people's hands, it's like, uh, I don't know about that. I, need, I we, we need to talk about that. That don't make sense. Don't make sense to me at all. At all. So yeah, I know I'm probably going to have some folks coming for me, but hey, that's what we're here for. We're here to have these types of discussions, guys doesn't mean we're going to always agree but you know at least you know we're talking about it but I do I really struggle with that I really think it should be a woman's choice about what goes on with her body and then I think I heard somebody say that they're even taking it a step further that you they're trying to get rid of the plan b pill and something else as it pertains to like a contraceptive type situation 
And I'm like, what? And it could be I'm out of touch, y'all. It could be that I'm out of touch because I just don't be plugged in all the time on everything. So, I don't know, y'all. But at any rate, <sighs> those are just a few of the things that's going on that I kind of wanted to touch on on the ride over to church. Like I said, we're here and we're actually probably a few minutes late getting in. But we gonna get in and we gonna go from there. So I'll be back. Just hanging out with Just